Okay, so what's this glow? Is it from your birthday yesterday? I think so. Because you're looking good. I've not had enough sleep though, so I wonder where the glow is coming from. Really? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> and now they say we don't look like what we go through. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Oh, That's wow. so true. This is a new blend. I've not tried her pineapple and orange before. Oh, okay. So let's try. So what's up with you? Nothing much. I'm just there chilling. I wish I brought me all the way here. So Kelsey, you want me one CV? <laughs> Why are you roughing that? Yeah, yeah fantastic one. <laughs> Set up like you're trying to. <laughs> okay, fine. I, I owe you one CV. Good. Seems with my page. Charlie, talking about that. not sleeping. Mm. This week has not been it all. It's stressful. Right. I know. It's so stressful. How do we do it? I wonder. Work. I think it's a miracle. Or oh, it's in born. Super, Are we built super, with it? Super women. Are we built with it? Actually, we're not built with it. I get tired. <laughs> Are you I, sure? I get tired. Are you sure? We do get tired, but yeah, we, we but wake up and do it again. Every day. Every day. Every day. I don't know. Every How did day. this all happen that somehow <laughs> we're expected to do everything? I think we should ask our forefathers. Ah. Uh huh. They started. We get to meet it. If we're picking straws, mm -hmm. I think we picked the short one. I'm sure. Next time, we take the longer one. Next time, we take the longer one. I'm thinking something mm -hmm. about balance. Okay. Okay, so you know this very... Um, I think she's a movie producer. Um, she, she's the owner of Rock Rock TV. Um, I forgot the name. I remember the yeah. name. I remember the name. So she was talking about women. And she was like... You know, we're expected to do well in our profession. We're expected mm -hmm. to do well at home. Mm -hmm. Be the best mothers, the best yeah. caregivers, the best, the best homemakers, wives. best wives, mm -hmm. best girlfriends. Yep. You know, and side chicks. Side chicks. <laughs> and still. And you wonder where we get the balance from. And then someone came up to her to tell her that his wife is not being supportive of his career. Mm -hmm. And she was like, okay, so what does your wife do? And um, he was like, um, she's just always at home taking care of her children. And he thinks it's not a job. And she was like, seriously, four children, four boys. Wow. Under 10. Wow. I have three. So and I that is leave. just just being at home. So I mean, okay, how so did we get here? I don't know. So maybe we should ask. Why are women supposed to be homemakers, take care of their home? Yeah. Meanwhile, Lily. Okay, I think some years ago, women were basically assigned to roles in the house. So you're not supposed to go to work, do anything. But lately, we work full-time careers. We want to excel in what uh -huh. we do, everything. And yet, you're expected to always keep your home. And literally, that also translates into keeping your marriage. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Because yeah, yeah. it is believed that if you can keep your home well, take care of your children and everything, then you are literally an excellent wife. <laughs> so maybe that's the question we should ask. Why are we the homemakers? But has anyone ever taken the time to ask women if they really want, want to, be to be homemakers? Good question. Because like, they really want to. Do I love cooking? That much to want to be in the home. It's so stressful. I know. I, I like know. cooking. I don't like washing pans. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cook, but when it yeah. comes to washing the pants, I wish someone would take that duty off. I love cleaning, like mm -hmm. I can arrange and rearrange and I hate cooking. I hate going to the markets. Uh, tell me about it. No, I like going to the market so that I can haggle the prices. But so you can them. haggle prices. I just hate it. Like I hate the fact that you go and you look at something. But then you know we're expected to be good at it, not just do it all. Be good be at good it. Good not just at do it. it's true. Yeah. It's true. And I think it's stressful. So yeah. I think we should take it from there. Why? So I have this question. Mm -hmm. It's been bothering me for a while. So our men, right? Mm -hmm. They enjoy it when we do those things. Mm, yep, yeah, I believe they do, and they expect it of us. Mm -hmm. So what happens when um, a black brother? Why is it a black brother? A black brother okay. gets married to a white sister. <laughs> Good question. And I know where you're getting you know? to. I know where you're getting. He does everything. Uh huh. He cooks. He cleans. He wash. He's take care of children. What happens? But then when, when he marries a black woman, oh, mm. yep, it changes. Because I don't think they would mm. really stress a white woman with cooking, washing, and cleaning. So what happens? Is it the culture? Or maybe we're not light-skinned enough? Uh, should I introduce our parents to you? 
Well, it, it's it's something that we need to we really yeah. need to talk about because it's really serious. I think growing up, that was what was known for us as women. As mm-hmm. we we are, you know how they believe that our role is to be in the kitchen all the time, mm-hmm. and then the men go out to farm and do whatever and then provide. But as time goes on, I think we need to look for a balance, as you said earlier. And then try to figure out how. I think our men should help. They shouldn't expect you to yeah, exactly. always do these things while she have a full career and then everything that is going on around. Lately, I know women contribute some form of help in the home. It's some not do major, major exactly. Yeah. Some can even pay school fees mm-hmm. and stuff. So I mm-hmm. think it's it's time we change the narrative a bit and hopefully. Um, the men would see it and also would want to contribute. I know there are some men out there who do well yeah. in terms of taking care of their kids mm-hmm. and sometimes releasing um, the woman so that they would do some small cooking here and there. Just, you know, I know there are some people who do that, but unfortunately, I think 80% of uh, black brothers, <laughs> <laughs> when they get a black woman, would want for us to do everything. So they will come back from work, drop their stuff, put the leg on the center table and expect you to also come back. Sometimes they even come with you. They yes. pick you and bring yeah. you and then they expect you to quickly go to the kitchen because you're not that tired. And yeah, then just turn, turn into something yes. else. Seriously, so I think it's something that worth looking mm. at and revising. What do you think? I think so too. I think, I think the narrative needs to change it because to. I think a lot of ladies yeah. now are beginning to move back away from getting married which is a beautiful thing mm. but because so. yeah i'm a romantic uh. story <laughs> i know it's a beautiful thing <laughs> i know right but we make it scary we make yeah. it too stressful i think we're we're expecting too much yeah. of each other because i think it should be about who is good at what, what? exactly so that's how a good partnership works right Definitely. so who is good at what to do that so yeah. if you can cook, if the man can cook banco and okra very well, yeah. when it's time for banco and okra, why not? Do it. And why it could be not? fun. You understand? Know, and so right. they're helping you. And you guys should just know. No, I always say that there is no um, guide for marriage. Definitely. Yeah, what, the template that works for me would not work, work for, for you. The other so they should just get to know each other. But this stereotype that women are supposed to be homemakers, it's changing because our responsibilities, like you said, are moving from the home front. Exactly. And we can't do it all without the men helping. Yes, definitely. You know, we can. We can. And that thing we where can. they become different when they are married to other races, they can still do that with us, right? Why not? Yeah, because... Why not? It's possible. It's I think really we need possible. to just change the narrative. So we should start with our sons. You have how many? I have three boys. Okay. And it's a struggle to get them to do it. And work. I'm getting three girls. I'm so getting three girls. They should. They should. <laughs> <laughs> they should learn it. They should. So you're telling me I should train my boys. They should. Well, so we need it's to even a struggle getting them to clear their own room. <laughs> I tell you, I need to threaten them. I need to sometimes bribe them with, oh, I'll give you a phone for one hour if you would you clear know? your room. It's really bad. I'm trying to change them in a way. Can you imagine us asking for breakfast in bed on Mother's Day? And then the first question my son asked me, the oldest, what did you give us on Father's Day? I'm like, mm-hmm. really? You're already negotiating at exactly. this age. <laughs> really? So I think I have what to do. I admit I have what to do. My my sons have to be different. They have to do it differently yeah. from what others are doing. So yes, I think we should train as parents coming up, young ones who know what the system is like. Yeah. Now. We should if we have boys, we should train them to do better and to know that helping in the house does not change who they are. Exactly, exactly. Doesn't change exactly. who they are. I think I have a lot of work to do. That's the thing. Because I would love for them to give me breakfast in bed one day. Because I think a lot of times the idea is that we emasculate them. When we when we want them when to do it, we're do... taking away their manhood. Yes. But it shouldn't I think be like that. It shouldn't yeah. be like that. I, I understand what you're trying to say. Mm-hmm. Because they wouldn't understand why. Why am I supposed to? I have someone who helps me in the house. And they make it seem like she's there to take care of them. And this is something I had a conversation with them yesterday because something like that happened in my absence. So it's something I'm still trying to change. That she's not here to do it for you. You have to do what you have to do. If you need help, uh-huh. she will be there to help you. But you need to do this, that, that, and that. Do you understand? So the narrative, I think, for young mothers, 
we need to change that for and our I think children. you're doing a good job because the first step Thank is you. knowing yeah. knowing that we, knowing need, that to we need to change yeah. the narrative okay. so well, i wonder maybe i'm thinking maybe not for everybody but there are some situations in marriages that mm. stem from the fact that the women are actually tired yeah. and probably fighting this now naturally to us i think nurturing comes naturally caring yeah, so. nurturing yeah, yeah. but then right. um we mistake domestic chores for nurturing that's true and caring. I've actually Have... i've actually not thought of it that way that's very true yeah because i that is my love language taking care of the home uh -huh. making sure everything is all right i think you i expect the man to see it and go like oh she loves mm. me that much to do this and do that and do that. I don't want to go into that story. Sure. <laughs> but I think now when I get the opportunity to talk to someone, I would mm -hmm. let the person know that no, you can't exactly. you can't keep doing that and think it's your is it a duty or responsibility? I don't want to use it. Is it your duty to do that? You're is not, it a duty? You're not obliged per se. Okay. Or it's a responsibility. It's a responsibility. Yeah. Okay. So in as much as you're in a marriage. You have your own responsibility mm -hmm. and he has his, his so own that's yours. I think when it's sort of like crossing, mm -hmm. then we should also allow for them to do certain things. Yes, well. like yes, recognize yes. when your wife or lady or whoever is tired and would want to help her out. You can order, if you can't food, uh, cook, you can order food. And so today rest. I've never really had that before because I'm the type I like cooking, no washing pants, as I said. I like taking care of my children, taking care of my home, making sure that by the time you come back from work, everything is fine. That is me. And then by the time you go to bed, you'll be so tired. And you know what happens yeah. then. And yeah. When you don't really give them, it's another mm -hmm. world. Exactly. So I think we need to strike a balance. And the men must accept the fact that we are not supposed to. I don't want to say, I don't know why I'm having difficulty choosing my words. Whether it's a duty or exactly. not. Yeah. But we are, okay, we are supposed to do that. But recognize when the person needs help. Okay, so now that's exactly what I'm talking about. The other part, when you get very tired mm -hmm. and then it turns into a fight. Mm -hmm. But the tiredness actually comes from over laboring yourself. Exactly. And so the point is, I think it's the responsibility of both parties. Exactly. So it's a simple question. Do you eat? Yes. Does the man eat? Yes. So why can't we both know how to take care of ourselves? Thank you very much. You know, because I, you. I think, yes, like you said in the beginning, our forefathers, they didn't try. That's all right. But then, look at the situation then. Women were not allowed to go to school. We were, were not allowed and to even it. talk in public. Yeah. So you were not bothered about going to farm to make the money. So they go and farm, they sell the but produce. I think they were going to the farm. We were for, going for, to for domestic the purposes. Okay. So it was like you had this, like back in the East, in my place, you had this farm that you go and farm produce for the home. But the men do the, um, the commercial, commercial farming okay. and they go and sell and bring money. So, yeah, now we are in this dispensation where um, we go to school, we compete with these same men, we become good in our jobs, we bring in money. Money. Exactly. Good. So, I, we go out, come back at five, and we're expected to do this. And okay, it's fine. Maybe it's she's fine. been so ingrained and she's been so schooled that she can't she, do it. But yeah. the point is, why do you leave everything to her? Yeah, that's knowing that the home the is for the both of you you understand yeah. so i think our men need to be more caring but then we need to communicate more yeah. so like i said it's not about fighting it but it's about talking about it you know sometimes women feel like well when i say that he will think i am not woman enough yeah we think that too exactly we've attached our womanhood to all to of these, all these duties mm -hmm. so when i say that Oh, he will think I'm not woman enough. I wouldn't be, especially for those girlfriends who go cooking and doing stuff for their... The side checks. <laughs> who go cooking for their, you know, boyfriends and stuff. You can't really tell the person you're tired because you want to be... Wife, wife material. material like thousand, thousand yards. Thousand yards. Exactly. You know? <laughs> so you can't really express that. And if you don't start it and you get married, you can't say Stop it again. Stop it. Exactly. True, true, true. So I think for the young ones, we need to advise them. Yeah. If there is something beyond you that you know you can't do, don't make it seem like this will make me get married. So let me just do it and continue doing it. And at a point when you can't take it anymore, mm -hmm. you've made that your identity. Then he will think, "What?" So I saw this. That's why I married you. I remember someone so actually you pretended. Exactly. 
someone actually told someone that I married you because of your food. If not for that, I would have broken up with you a long That's time harsh. ago. Very harsh. That's harsh. I married you because of it. So the question is, so if your food is not good anymore, the then marriage there wouldn't be a marriage. Ends. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. So that I, means for we the women, mm -hmm. we need to understand that we are first of all human beings. We are yep. first of all women, and our femininity has nothing to, to do, do with it. domestic chores. Exactly. So the fact that maybe I don't know how to cook doesn't make me any less of a woman than the one, than who, the does. one who knows how. Because to. amongst ourselves too, we use it like a competition. Exactly. Because for instance, your brother gets married to someone, and or is dating a girl. Maybe she comes home and she's all done up with her nails, and you know, looking all fly. And your sister, fine. yeah, sisters will just go like. Hmm. This one can she, she work? Can't do anything. She can't She's do so anything. lazy. She's so, you know, we stop judging ourselves like <laughs> exactly. I I get you. I'm laughing because I've had such an experience before. That's why I'm laughing because I like I went somewhere with someone, okay, and their room was a bit it's their house. Okay. okay. But the room was a bit messy. So I was like, ah, shouldn't this be done before we actually come? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. Shouldn't this be done before we actually come? Yes. So the moment I got there, I knew I'm not going to stay in this. I can't stay in this. So I started doing it. But that is just me. I'm not doing it to please you. Just because you just couldn't stay I there. just couldn't stay there. Mm -hmm. So I had to do it. I'm sure probably that is one of the reasons why they thought I was worthy to marry their brother. brother it's not something. like me, like I would feel. I can because I'll go back. You go back. You won't oh, stay. I won't stay, and I won't do. <laughs> you won't stay. That I won't stay. I won't do. Really? And I'll go back because, like, my 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 thought is this: if you're inviting me over, at least make the place clean. Exactly. So if I come there and it's not, it's not clean, clean, why should I? That's why I'll be yes. very irritated, and I'll go away. Okay. And in my mind, I'll be like, this will be very scattered and very dirty, and I don't have anything to do with this person. Yeah, that's true. I tell you. I get what you're trying to do. See that everybody is different. Like, it doesn't it doesn't mean that I don't know how to clean. I actually love cleaning. I don't like cooking. I love cleaning. But it doesn't but mean I would come come to your place and clean. Anything. Okay. But yeah. you know, and so most times I, I see these things are like and she came to my place and she couldn't clean. She couldn't, she couldn't cook. She, she was a visitor. It's not her responsibility to do that for you. So a friend of mine went to see her mother-in-law to be, then mm -hmm. she wasn't married to the young man. And when they got there, the woman just gave her <clears throat> gave her the broom. Mm -hmm. The next morning, she woke up and she was like, uh -uh, take this broom now. Come, come, follow me to the kitchen. And you know, our Nigerian mothers are very dramatic. I don't know about Ghanaian mothers, but Nigerian mothers. <laughs> yours is a notch above ours. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> And so they went to the kitchen mm -hmm. and this woman, I think she had planned it, opened one of the kitchen drawers. Mm -hmm. Have you seen dirt? There was. Saucepans, dirt, everything was scattered. I she think told it was her, reserved for her. Yeah, and she told her to clean it and keep the place. And the girl was just looking at the woman. And, you know, um, uh, we're one of a kind. Okay, mm -hmm. so my friend and I were... Yeah, so like... she looked at it and she was like, okay, no problem. So she dropped the broom, uh -huh. closed the cabinets, uh -huh. went back into the room and Dressed slept. Up. She slept. Oh, she she slept. didn't leave. <laughs> she said the place was too far. She couldn't leave. So she slept up. And the guy came back, didn't know what had happened. And his mother was chewing. And it's okay, what is happening? And she's lazy. And she's this. And she was like, huh? Lazy. Why? Do I look like a slip? Like, did your son tell you Sorry, he employed no. a servant to come and do all of those things? If you were working, I can help you. But, but you cannot you just bring it. me in. Yeah. You know, exactly. he eventually yeah, I mean, got married I think she did good. and they have a beautiful home. So, your point, mm -hmm. don't go doing what you're not That's okay with exactly. because you can't change it. Exactly. And even yeah. if you do it, just know when to ask for help or when to say, I'm tired, I can't do this. Yeah. So, I think yeah. going forward, our men need to hear that we need help. Yeah. They need to recognize it, right? Yeah. So, that means communication has to come from us. I think... Well, the communication, yes, that is very important. But I also think you can see it when someone is tired. When you talk about love language, how many men know what love language is? Ah, I wonder. They all don't they even know. They don't even <laughs> All they know is that. To them, that's love. It's fun. Have you tried your pineapple and orange? No. Let me just. I've heard about this drink. So, mm, here it this goes. is really good. Recipes. I normally wouldn't go for pineapple, but this is really good. 
really, really good. Fresh and Mm, I like it. You like it? Yes, I'm always kind of like getting a cousin. Wow, in fact, I should, right? <laughs> this is so good. Wow, another recipe. Mm. She's done well. This is good. This it's is nice. really it's good. Really yes, nice. yes. Really, really I nice. do like it. All right, All right girl. Hmm. Well, nice meeting you. I shall we'll continue. Uh, I know, right? The fight is a long one. But I'll be changing mine from my home front, so. You know, and I'll do the same. Yes, 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 yes. Every little opportunity we get. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, it's been fun talking with you. Fun talking to you. It's a nice Hope you're not carrying your birthday over to next year. Please, it's, it's a one week. It's a one week event. We are having ah, out story next week. And I'm yet to have a cake. <laughs> are you serious? Yes, please. So not you're invited. All the fun. I'm coming. <laughs> sure.